open to this vowel. You're rounding your lips ever so slightly to create a V, and it's a little bit more like a, a mixed vowel. V. Um, in a certain context, that might be okay. Let's try to keep it as pure as possible. So instead of E, 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 it's going to feel a little brighter. And in this space, you should be able to hear it pretty well, too. So if you hear it come back to you, that's a good, a good thing. Um, try your best not to round the lips on it. space. But in here, um, be careful not to sing just to like this area, to me or to like just here. Sing, you know, to that wall or through it, okay? If this isn't connected, it doesn't feel like it's part of you when you're singing, 
then you will start shouting those top notes. Okay.
Ah, ah, ah. A little bit higher. Ha ha ha. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, it creates a cleaner tone overall, in my opinion. Oh. Mm -hmm. Just don't punch the top. on that top note. Are you squeezing to get the top note out? Don't, you don't have to. It can okay. be a slow, slow flex. Oh. Yeah, I need oh. And I want it to be smoother. Oh. No, I'm not a tenor, so don't try to sound like me, but try to get that a little bit more smooth, even smoother than what I just did, okay? Ah, 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 ah. Oh. So your onset is actually quite nice in the past couple of times. Ah, ah, ah. Keep it nice and, you know, in that spot. I don't want to say hold on to the onset feeling the whole time, but don't become too breathy, okay? more 
warm lips and less, I think you're using a little bit of jaw. Actually, could you face that way so I can see your profile? Do it again. Yeah, keep your jaw in the same spot. If you need to put a finger there so it doesn't move down, I don't think you need to make adjustments on a, on a D above middle C, okay? Choose to open the mouth because we're going through the passaggio. I think it should be smooth. Okay. Not through the passaggio. Actually, this is above the passaggio. Yeah? So don't shoot it open all of a sudden. Good. Good job. That's the way to do it. Sing through that wall. Yeah, good. Let's see if we can get this one out. Ready?
here and everything. Okay? Same thing. Yeah, down here is, again, this is the chest voice area. Interesting is you start off really nicely on that note, and when you come back down, then it gets a little breathy. See if you can keep it right in line. Instead of ah, 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 better. See? It's a little bit more, um, a little more closure is needed for the lower notes. That's that's a C below, below middle C, and you don't need much lower than that. Um, but it, it should have a little bit more closure on that, and, and over with years with time, that should become clear. Good. Okay. Let's transition to some music, shall we? That's good. Oh, I forgot the. Sorry about that. Which one? Ave Maria. What I'll have you do is just run through it, and then um, we'll probably start it again and do a stop and start. Oh. Does that sound good? Yep.
Especially if you hear, <coughs> excuse me, especially if you hear like Pavarotti, it's very, ah, ave, ave, it's kind of like the U vowel we were just doing in warm-ups, right? Um, can I hear, uh, let me hear your opening on that. It doesn't have to be, we don't have to do too many measures of it. I just want to hear you be a little bit more attention. Let's work that a little bit. Okay. I'm going to stand back here so I can hear you better. crescendo de crescendo things you were doing, the phrasing, because that was beautiful. But add this new sound into it. safe. Yeah. Um, as we're growing 
it's good to feel out of our comfort zone sometimes, right? Actually, most of the time, I think. Um, do this again. On the last ah, make sure the ah is just a dropped jaw. Ah, ah. You kind of went a little sideways, slightly. Same thing. Ave Maria, good job. Good, it didn't go sideways, that's good. When you first start your tone, I want vibrato. Even okay. Off. It's like you have to choose one or the other. If you're in like a big domey cathedral, maybe we could do a straight tone and have that more cupo sound that you had before. But with this, it's more on the side of like a, you know, more like a bel canto sort of angle, um, if you want to call it that. But it's, it's brighter. It's brighter, okay? Um, and if we're going that, to that side of things, let's have vibrato on every note. So, Maria Grazia Plena. Anytime you hold a note, then make sure that um, it has vibrato from the beginning. One of the things that happens uh, is that people start straight tone and then vibrato. Do you have vibrato? Vibrato? Um, I want it all the time, if that's possible. I think it is. Where's that D natural? Where's that a D natural? Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah. Can you can you just sing fru on that pitch? Fru, 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 fru. I think it could still be more forward. Fru, fru. You don't have to change the vowel. Keep it oo. Just make it intentional. Oo, oo, oo. That's oo, 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 oo. Yeah. Fru, fru, Yeah. Fru, Can we try it on that same note? Just holding that note. Fru. That's the one. Instead of fro, fru. Good. Can we try the same spot? Saying Ave Maria, when you say Maria, ah was a little bit under, and then you started a little bit under on Mater. Okay. So just be aware of that. On the M, you should already have your pitch. Mmm, should be uh, like it should be at the right, the right pitch. It's a, it was just under on that one, probably because you came from a note that was just under. But keep that in mind. Let's start the second, um, second verse again. But the beginning, that was probably the best, like I said, the best you've ever done that. One more time. Thank you. 
Hunt Nump with a K. Yeah, right there is fine. Another go at it would be good. Vibrato, sing out. Think of it as a hard cutoff. Stre, stre, not stre, stre. That will lead to another vowel. Stre, stre. Same thing. Just do it for the, the B flat, just on stre. I know it's no stre, but stre. 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 Yeah, you see how your tongue, if you keep it forward, what you're doing is it's slightly moving back and it's creating a new vowel. So it's creating a diphthong, two vowels and sort of one sound, um, or two sounds and one syllable, vowel sounds. Keep that pure, don't let the tongue retract, okay? <laughs> So in your practice, I would say use your phone, record yourself with video, and see yourself in the mirror. If, if your jaw moves and your tongue moves and you create that new vowel, then you can go, oh, dang it, and then keep practicing it until there's zero change in tongue and jaw for that vowel, okay? It's just gonna have to be done, relearned, essentially. Done again and again and again. Uh, just the end, then. give me a cadence, we'll go on to the next piece. Good. 
other than that unintentional diphthong, I think we did some good work that was changed today. 